guys, so looks like um my hermit crabs um are waking up. So that is Bobo right there on the top. He's hanging on to his tree. And um before you come in and ask me, he climbed himself up there. Um hopefully you can kind of get a picture. But Bobo is the small one with a brown shell. And I have a fancy one here as well. He's, um, I guess he's sleeping. He was trying to get out earlier. But, um, today I'm making a video on how to take care of your hermit crabs. Because, of course, you need to know. The first thing you will need is, um, well, of course you need to have a cage. The cage has to be big enough to contain the amount of hermit crabs you are going to have. And speaking of the amount of hermit crabs, you want to have more than one hermit crab because you don't want them to get extremely lonely, which does happen. Um, I got them both at the same time because I knew that this consequence was going to happen with them. But when they're alone, they get real lonely and they don't know what to do. And He's waking up over there. See him? Hermit crabs are very friendly animals. They do not pinch unless you get one with huge pinchers. They are used to pinching and they're used to being in the wild as well. Um, so that's what I'm just going to say. The third tip is you need to have sand or soil on the bottom because hermit crabs love to dig. The amount I have in my cage right now is not enough. So maybe have about this much in there so they have room to crawl around. Um, speaking of crawling around, they also will need a hut because hermit crabs love to um, sleep in small dark spaces. And they also love to climb, which is why I have these two palm trees. As you can see, Bobo climbed up and he was up there. He actually climbed himself up there this morning. What they do is they latch with their claws up and they love natural things they like to find things so if you hide little treasures especially natural fruits um like grapes or strawberries or bananas just hide them in their cage somewhere like maybe inside the coconut or something like that they will munch on it they absolutely love it and the third thing you'll need is of course some food i'm using variety diet um they since I just got my hermit crabs a day ago, but I know a lot about them because I've done research for a while now, a very long time, and I mean a very long time, you can trust me, um, they haven't eaten this yet, so I don't know if this is a good brand. I will definitely let you guys know probably in the next video, but I haven't had to refill it, so either like they don't like their food or something else. The next thing is hermit crabs actually don't have lungs so you have to keep your cage very moist and humid it's very humid in here there's so much water particles you can see some water particles kind of here but your hermit crabs in order to survive they need water to breathe in the air and just to breathe in general but when you add the water in you want to take their food out because you don't want their food to get moist because we don't want our food moist either so what you want to do is get a bottle, but you can't just spray normal faucet water. You have to get a conditioner. I'm using fresh water conditioner. Um, other people say you need fresh water and salt water, one for the bath, one for water to drink. But I'm just getting fresh water because my hermit crabs actually do like fresh water. Um, if you give them fresh water and salt water, they will decide which one they like better. But if you give them one, they don't know the other option. So I'm just going to spray this. Um, I'm going to spray kind of around, just around the area. You want it nice and humid so they can actually breathe. Because they can't survive without breathing. And I have a friend who told me that his hermit crab died in two months. Um, I asked him if he sprayed, and he said no. So they can um, survive two months if you don't spray, but 
you want them to survive a little bit more. Speaking of surviving, they survive for about a year. Uh, no, not a year, but they survive for a very long time. They can survive for many, many years. Um, unlike dogs, these animals are able to be held in your palm. They walk around and they do not pinch you um, unless you hurt or startle them. Um, one thing that I keep forgetting is to actually put their food back in. Just remind yourself every time you spray. Now, you also, if you see those two shells back there, that is their water, bath, and shell bowl. In order for hermit crabs to survive, um, they take off their shells all the time and they just like to switch. Not to get a bigger shell, they just like to switch their shells. So I have two options for them. Um, the one in the very back is for Bobo because it's a little bit smaller and as you can see, he's smaller. And Miami right here, I got her that big one right there. So you just want to have a variety and I put it in the water because that's just kind of where they like to bathe. But um, that's pretty much it. Oh, I also have a sponge. I don't know why. But that's pretty much it. You All you need for your hermit crabs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.